Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mission Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to deflicker some drone footage inside Resolve. Now you can deflicker any sort of flickery footage with this, but this time I happen to have some drone footage that needs to be deflickered. So let's just drop this into a new timeline. Boop, here we go. And we'll go into our color page, and if you see, if we play this full screen, that, you know, down in the bottom left hand corner, we get this weird rolling shutter artifact with the sun shining through the props, getting like some weird flare happening. So we're going to go over to our OpenFX library, and we're going to type in the flicker and just drag and drop this on. Now we're going to change our deflicker settings from time lapse to, in this case, floral light works pretty well. But you can also go into advanced controls, and then you can change your motion estimation type to better. Uh, frames on either side, you can do you know, higher analysis, lower analysis. Three is probably fine. Motion range. In this case, medium is probably a little bit better just for how much motion there is. And then Luma Threshold, Chroma Threshold, Motion Threshold, we probably don't need to change any of that for here. Speed, Optimization, uh, we can actually limit the analysis area to just the bottom left hand corner of the screen because that's the only place where we're getting issues. So we can just move this around like we would any sort of normal window. Just over here and make it a little bigger. It'll be a little bit generous with this, so that looks pretty good. Now we're only analyzing this part of the image, which is pretty nice, because this is a, a bit of a slow a slow burn. And in this case, we probably won't need to restore any additional detail, but if you see you're losing stuff, this is where you're going to do it. And now, finally, we can see our output is our deflickered result, but a very interesting thing you can do is click on Magnified Flicker. And if we play this through, you can see down here we get our nasty flicker artifacts. You can see what's being removed. So this is pretty cool. So bring this back to deflickered result and zoom way in if you see before and after. See we're getting these little things. It's not perfect, perfect. You can probably tweak stuff around a little bit more if you want to. But you know, for this sort of thing, I think it's good enough. Uh, you know, a lot of being a colorist is just making stuff less bad. So in this case, it's less bad. So I hope this helped out. Uh, this is a, a great thing that not a lot of people know about, about Resolve. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Check out meastermedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of good stuff. There's new stuff coming up on there soon. Check it out. There's some free LUTs on there. I forgot we got the free LUTs. Um, so, you know, no matter what, there's no reason to not go over there. Free stuff, paid stuff. Check it out, meastermedia.com slash products. The more stuff you download from there, the more time I can put in making tutorials. And I've got some good tutorials planned out, so, so stick around. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesner Media. We have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.